Days of protests outside factories in Ho Chi Minh City and Ha Tin province have seen buildings torched and Chinese nationals targeted. But in the past 24 hours, violence has peaked, leaving more than 20 people dead. Some were Vietnamese, but the majority were believed to be Chinese. It's a rare outbreak of public disorder in a tightly controlled country. But many of those companies and individuals targeted weren't Chinese. Many were Taiwanese or South Korean. This Taiwanese man said he fled Vietnam for fear of his life. All I can say is that I never felt so scared in my life. Last night I didn't sleep all night. I still have a lot of friends who couldn't escape to the airport. They didn't dare to come out because they were afraid that if they came out they would be beaten. The anger has been fueled by Beijing's decision to deploy an oil rig in the Spratly Islands, a disputed area of the South China Sea. In the past week, there have been reports of Chinese and Vietnamese ships and vessels in the area ramming into each other and using water cannon. It's one of many recent attempts by China to push its claim on most of the South China Sea and the Spratly Islands, looking for richer fishing grounds and a share in the area's potential oil and gas reserves. But aside from Vietnam, several others claim parts of the area too. Police said on Wednesday that more than 400 people had been arrested since the protests began. China's foreign ministry has issued warnings to its citizens in the country and urged Vietnam's government to help protect them. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera.